the government is a very big player in, uh, in, in the logistics sector. And I think that's something which uh, I think we're very fortunate at this particular point in time. And, and Roshan just spoke about the catch up that we have to do to uh, you know, countries like Singapore, Dubai, which are much smaller than us, but there's so much of money being invested and I can't fathom these amounts, you know, $135 billion. It's a lot of money. When you express it in rupees, then you come to lakhs of crores. And I always struggle with, with uh, things like lakhs of crores. You know, when, when, when the finance minister, when she presents her budget, I'm glad she's doing the thinking about those numbers, not us. But what we do know is a lot of money is being invested uh, in this sector. And that's something we all benefit from. The other thing is that there's a lot of private money coming in. A lot of private equity money is going into these e-commerce um, uh, companies that, that we're, we're talking about. In fact, there are many companies out there that didn't even exist. So Proshan spoke about the fact that uh, you know, e-commerce, we are only at one and a half percent of all retail in India's e-commerce. And you're absolutely right, the US is at 10, 11%. Um, I'm sure at the end of 2020, we'll find the numbers have actually grown exponentially because of the lockdown, et cetera. And companies like Amazon and Flipkart are in fact uh, logistics companies. They just have a really nice website, but behind the scenes, they're very, very, very complex logistics.